Now, if you've ever visited the Fries, you probably noticed the wonderful array of bird feeders that we have just outside the dining room windows. Now, they are really, really busy feeders, and that means that they can get really dirty. And it's very important to keep your bird feeders clean. So today, I'm gonna to show you how we keep the feeders clean here at the Fries. So I've gathered all the feeders together and I thought the next thing I would show you is the little kit I've put together for actually cleaning the feeders. So we've got a bucket for popping the hot water in. Uh, we've got a large bottle brush for, for getting deep inside the tube so we can get it nice and clean inside as well. We've got some tissue for, for drying up at the end. We've got a pair of rubber gloves. It's important that we think about our own safety so always wear rubber gloves when you're cleaning out your feeders. I've got a little scraper and other little attachments so I can get into all the nooks and crannies to try and uh, to, to clear any, any congealed seed or mouldy little bits in, in any um, difficult to reach corners. I've got a little brush for, for sweeping around as well. And I've got a carrier bag which is ideal for popping old bird seed in and all the mouldy bits and pieces. So I'm now going to go and fill the bucket up with some hot water and then we'll crack on with the cleaning. Now, if there's one piece of advice I could give about bird feeders, it would be to think of them exactly the same as you think about bird food. You get what you pay for. We all know that if you buy cheap bird food, half of it gets thrown on the ground, the rest of it goes mouldy, and you end up spending twice as much in the long run anyway. And the same kind of thing applies to bird feeders as well. You get what you pay for. One of the most important things to think about when you're looking at a new bird feeder is how easy, easy is it to take apart? Now, they come in all shapes and sizes. The cheaper ones tend to be almost impossible to take apart and get clean, but the slightly more expensive ones are a great investment because they are so easy to take apart. This one, for example, is there's no screws to undo. You just press a couple of buttons and the bottom comes off, making it dead easy to get the food out. And also, the little um, feeder ports and the little um, perches for the birds just unclip as well so it comes totally apart making it incredibly easy to get clean. So there we go. That's the last of the feeders put back together. All lovely and clean. All I've got to do now is fill them up and put them back out for the birds.